The other thing that controls what gets to run is the priority. All of those R counter programs are running with the same priority. The scheduler is giving them approximately equal share of the CPU. Although I've got a lot of other processes running, none of them are doing compute heavy jobs. So I've got Chrome running, taking up many hundreds of megabytes of memory, but I'm not actually browsing, running any pages that are doing any work. The CPU doesn't need to do much other than run my counter programs. When there are multiple programs that actually have work to do, the way to decide between them can be influenced by the priority of those processes. Each process can have a priority number, and the scheduler can use those priority numbers to decide who should get a bigger share of the processor or who should run first. The way Unix does priority numbers, they're sort of backward. The lower number actually means higher priority, so the highest priority is zero. Sometimes you can actually have negative priorities on, on some flavors of Unix. The lowest one is the highest number, which also varies by number, but usually it's either 99 or some bigger number than 99. Let's look at what that means on like, let me show you top again. You can see, even though I've got my RWR counter still running, they're not getting first crack at the processor. These MD workers are being listed, and I don't know exactly how top is sorting things now, but they're getting to run before the RWRs. If we look, so, so the PS command is giving me a list of all the processes. For each one, I'm getting the priority, the process ID, the percent of the CPU, the virtual memory size, and the time they've used the CPU. And I'm going to sort those first by CPU time and then by priority. So we'll see them listed by priority. So you can see the, the bottom ones have priority numbers 97. So that's the lowest priority that's being used. We'll look at the top ones that are running with priority 4. Let me get a little more so I can see. I have lots running with equal priority 4. Right? So there's nothing that distinguishes the priority of all these priority four processes. Let's see where my, my RWR process is running with priority 31. Right, so most user level processes are running with priority in the 30s. All of these priority four things, including the MD worker, are running with more priority than my counter that is, well, it's not doing useful work, but it's simulating doing useful work. So should we be happy with that? The fact that our operating system is giving all these things higher priority than the program we're actually wanting to run. And the one that was most obvious in top, so something must have started running on my machine that's running a bunch of stuff. So MD Worker is still at the top here. So does anybody know what MD Worker is doing? Why that's sucking up so much of my CPU? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the Spotlight indexing tool. So one of the reasons Spotlight, so Spotlight, if, if you don't use the Mac, Spotlight is a very nice searching utility and it always knows all the files that you've created and things on your machine and gives you a very easy way to find them. And it seems like a really cool thing that it works so well. Part of the reason it's working so well is it's sucking up a huge amount of your CPU. Running at high priority and it's running all the time. It seems like something that really should run, you know, not with higher priority than the program the user actually deliberately started and wants to run, but as a background thing with low priority makes it look more impressive to people using Max that it runs with high priority if you don't know that it's making all your other programs run slower. I encourage you to look at the, the processes that are running on your, on your machine. That command should work on any flavor of Unix, so definitely in Ubuntu or Mac OS X.